Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Deanna Durrell here, your intuitive relationship coach and spiritual mentor. And we are quickly approaching a fabulous new moon in Pisces, which is such a super psychic vibe. And um, I just felt guided to do a quick video for everybody. I'm curious, how are you feeling? Are you feeling all the feels? Are you um, noticing that your dreams are more vivid and your spidey senses are heightened. Um, I have been feeling just collectively like the universal energy is guiding all of us right now to really look inside of ourselves and create this space inner and outer, right? Like Zen. And if you're just joining me impromptu, say hello. I just decided to do this like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> so what creates your inner and outer Zen space? For me, I was recently at the Tucson Gem Show. The, you know, people come from all over the world for this show. And I went with the intention to find like crystals that would speak to me or jewelry because I love the sparklies. And I ended up walking away with this gorgeous Turkish lamp. And it called to me right away. Um, I love the brilliant colors and I added it to my goddess space and it's just created this really warm, beautiful vibe. And so for me, um, you know, whenever I look at it or come near it, it's a reminder to come inside. It's a reminder to close my eyes, to clear the crap in my head and tune into what I already know. On the inner side, right? Like what are the things that really help you feel centered? So for me, it's pulling cards for myself and you guys, it's journaling, it's dancing, which that's where I'm headed. I'm headed to a dance fitness class in just about five or 10 minutes and really going into my body and letting go of the mind and the overthinking and obsessing. So um, Pisces, is, this new moon specifically is giving us all an opportunity to redefine those habits, those rituals um, so that we position ourselves um, in a way that our soul can hear us, right? Our environment is condu conducive to listening to our intuition, following up on those messages. And also, it's a sign about boundaries. So, you know, Pisces is the fish, and it's boundaryless, and it's limitless, and it encompasses all of the vibes of all of the signs before it. So boundary issues may come up this week. I know they've already come up for me and given me an opportunity to see where I overgive or worry about shit that's just not my responsibility, but I take it on as mine because I care too much, right? So noticing where do you need to rein it in and just let go more. And then on the flip side, where do you need to loosen the boundaries? Maybe you've discovered that you're a little bit inflexible or the boundaries that you've set up are just not working for you, but you know, there's a stubborn part of us that's like, well, they're already set, so I have to stick with it. It's like, no, you, it's about being malleable, flexible, and doing what works for you now that maybe didn't, you know, is it different than who you were even like a day ago, and honoring that fluidity. So, with that, I'm pulling three cards for everybody for this new moon and. Um, it's a little bit different. So a lot of times I'll do cards of the week for like the whole week, but I pulled three cards. The first card represents the theme of the new moon. The second card represents something in your way, a potential obstacle or information about a block. And then the third card is just advice to heal the block, like advice um, on your next steps. All right. So Athena, the theme is about power and boundaries of this new moon and it's also about giving yourself the opportunity to flex those muscles to express yourself um, or if you tend to go into that hyper masculine overdrive then to say enough is enough that's really cute it's time for you to back off and relax and relax into that trusting space knowing that whatever it is is being handled all right <clears throat> and this doesn't surprise me. So a block, Teresa, the card says time out. You've been so busy taking care of everybody else's needs. Now it's time to stop and take care of yourself. Pisces can sometimes have a hard time focusing on itself. It really wants everyone around to be happy, to be centered. 
And it can use a lot of energy for that, which is beautiful. But if it's too much, you're going to burn out. So the possible block is looking at where you've overextended yourself. Where have you overcommitted yourself? Even in the next week, look at your commitments, your schedule, and where do you need to take stuff off? Where do you need to say no? Where do you need to say yes to yourself? Where have you been afraid to say yes to yourself? And knowing that spirit and your intuition is already telling you where those places are. So you just need to actually claim it, voice it, and own up to it. And as you do that, love it, advice, Astara is about raising your standards. As you do that, as you raise your standards, as you um, allow people to know what's okay and not okay, then you reach right your highest potential. You get what you want. Not what your ego wants, but what your soul actually wants and what makes you feel satisfied and calm and peaceful on the inside. It says you deserve the best. Yes, we do. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. So my lovely goddesses and friends, that is your new moon in Pisces. Quick, quick draw. But in summary, what is one thing that you're going to add to your physical environment to create a Zen space? For me, it's my Turkish lamp. And what's one thing that you are going to do and add and be conscious of to have an inner Zen space? So for me, it was acknowledging where I was um, worrying about shit that's not my responsibility and maybe doing a ritual around letting go. So I'll just share mine later when I get back from dance class. I plan to write down all the things that I've been worried about light a candle, maybe put on some music and rip up the paper as a symbol that I am surrendering it to spirit. It is going to be out of my space, out of my vibe so that we can basically have a clean slate for this next week. And new moons are about new beginnings. So it's a great time to set intentions, new habits. Um, consider it like a mini new year, right? Every new moon, we get a mini new year, a mini redo. I'd love to hear from you. How are you feeling? Let me know in the comments. Say hello. And if you have an awesome goddess that needs to be in this group, please invite them. I would love to build our community. And I see we have a few new folks from uh, the dance class that I went to. So hello, ladies. All right. I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And if you'd like more, check out the website at thedancinggoddess.com.